amount of possibilities. Oh yeah. What's going on, guys? I also want to customize some of my PS2 games. Of course, that would be the best thing to do. Like customize old school games. Well, what's going on, what's guys up, and gals? People? Yeah, my name is Neko Fluttershy, and this is an asshole over here doing asshole things. But, um, you know. And I'm slaying demons while talking. <laughs> yeah. So one thing I is is important to me, and I don't know. I, I probably already may have made a video on this before, but it's important that I talk about it because gaming. Needs to know. And, when, and we're sorry we're talking to you guys' ear off about it, but you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. And that... We're, we'll do it anyway. <laughs> exactly. This topic is about uh, video game preservation, pretty much. Well, not, and not, do you not realize just that. how important this topic is? Exactly. Everyone needs to know. Exactly. And this topic is about homebrew and you know jailbreaking your game consoles. So, yeah, having a, 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 reg, a, a regular Nintendo Wii is fine. A regular PS3 is fine, whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't care. You know, if you... And you honestly... Know, it a little is a lot of fun. We're not saying OFW is bad. Or exactly. Anything. Yeah. It's just, it could be a little bit more fun. Exactly. And than what it already is. A little disclaimer for you guys and gals. If you don't like the idea of modding or whatever that's fine you don't have to agree we're still gonna do it anyway because we and we're, we're gonna make some we good just, points we here. can't stop exactly <laughs> now i got two things to say about two topics really one is why you should get a modded game console whether it be the ps3 xbox 360 wii 3ds whatever can be modded here's why you should modify it and I'm about to beat the goddamn ass out of Sony and Microsoft and Nintendo and tell them like it and is. Me too. Yeah. So let's start off with why you should have. Including uh, phone companies as well. So yeah. like Samsung, we can do whatever we want. Yeah, and that's why I'm I'm an Android Apple. guy. Apple. Apple yeah. can't do shit on there. Yeah, and this is why. And then it's also <laughs> it's goes. Yeah, and this also goes to phone companies as well, you know, Samsung and other Android people and, yeah. you know, Apple with their iOS bullshit. You know, here is why you should... So, basically, we're talking about every electronic company. Exactly. Yeah, anything that <laughs> anything that can Anything that can be modded should be modded. You know, computers, which they're mostly already modded anyway. But... You know, they could probably have a little bit more freedom to them, you know? Um, yeah, that, that's the thing. You can mod on computers, but you can't mod on, you know, your PS3 or exactly. whatever. Exactly. And, you know, yeah, that's a little uh, side thing. Okay, so you can basically emulate whatever game you want on the GameCube, well, not the GameCube, on the computer. That's fine. But doing it on a PS3, that's apparently a bad thing. Well, fuck you too and the cow you had sex with. But, anyways, here's <laughs> here's why oh, yeah. here's why you should definitely own a modded console. And if you already have a game console that isn't modded, here's why you should modify them. First thing, and probably the most important, is emulation. And you better mod it after watching this video. Exactly. <laughs> now, nah, do it. Spread yeah. the word. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you're not going to modify your game console, at least spread the word. Let everybody know that... We mean business, you know, I, I really want to, you know, modify these things, and I like, love Like, the amount of fun I had on my Jailbroken PS3 is phenomenal. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, the first thing, and probably the most important thing, emulation. Emulation is really important. Now, why? Well... It's basically playing games that, uh, well, aren't supposed to play on a other console, other than what they're intended for. So playing mm -hmm. a, a, an NES game or and Super also Nintendo. Playing Game Boy games on a big screen is yeah. amazing. Like exactly. I mean, that's how I play a lot of handheld games. I do it on a big TV, on PS3, on the Wii. I don't care. I'll. 
I mean, I don't really play handheld much anyway, but when I do, it's on a huge ass TV. Yeah. So I can see what I'm doing, and it actually has light. I don't have to shine right. my console at Instead the sun. Instead of just a tiny ass screen. That doesn't even have a backlight. And it actually looks beautiful on there. In fact, you can also change the graphic quality to make it look good. Like, not oh, yeah. pixelated. Exactly. Which is great. And, you know, emulation's a big one. Why? Well, emulation, it, in a way, also kind of goes hand in hand with preserving the past. Having a modded console and having the ability to emulate means you have an endless library of video games to play. For example, you know, on a PS3, you have an but endless... In, here, here's one thing we, we gotta say, though, as well, is that we're, we, we love emulation, right? Yeah. But we, as collectors, want the real thing. Exactly. But this is just a recommendation to be able to play these games. Otherwise, people like me and William, we are, we're going to be playing these games on the real devices. Exactly. <laughs> we are trying right. to. But we do love emulation at the same time, but we love it having on the original system. Though. Exactly. More. And, you know, emulation and preserving the past go hand in hand. You know, playing an NES game on a PS3, that's fucking amazing. And here you have... Not just NES, but you have Atari, you have Sega, you know, you got the NES, SNES, Atari 2600, well, 7800. Like I can play the original Sonic the Hedgehog right on my PS3. Exactly. So and cool. as if all these games that are already there officially are not enough, you can also run homebrew games on them and ROM hacks and things like that. You I can mean, run. It's pretty cool at times that companies they make collections of games so you can play Sonic the Hedgehog one. But you're so limited still. Exactly. You know, that's cool and all to do that. But yeah. with when you have a jailbroken PS3, you got uh, you got it all, boy. Yep. You got it all. <laughs> yep, you have endless it's options. And, you know, with emulation, also, again, going hand in hand, it comes with preserving the past. By having access to all these games, you have access to saving these games from extinction. You know, down the line, not every game is going to be accessible. Not every game is going to work anymore exactly. on actual hardware. As NESs get older, as Atari 2600s get older, these games will not work anymore. These consoles will not work anymore. Even if you take the greatest care of these systems, they will not work anymore. So. And sometimes, even if you don't use the system, you're going to turn it on one day and it'll be dead. Exactly. It's crazy. Video game systems are not meant to last forever. Even again, if you take care of them. Um, sure, there are ways to increase the longevity of these consoles, but there's no way to keep these consoles yeah, if around. You know how to fix like motherboards and all that, but once your motherboard is cracked, there's no going back. Exactly. Pretty much, unless you know how to put it back together. And I'm pretty yeah. sure you can bring it to a shop. I mean, I brought my. PS4 um, into a place and forgot what it was called. I think it was Technate, and they fixed it. Like it's not overheating anymore, but they messed up on my power button now. And it sounds like the disc is shredding when I put it in when I put in the game. <laughs> but it doesn't overheat anymore though, so thank God. Yeah. <laughs> so but I had to turn it on using the eject button. <laughs> yeah. But like I was saying, you know, these consoles... I'm just using control. Yeah. These consoles and games are not going to last forever. So the only way to play these games nowadays is to emulate, is to preserve the past and to make sure future generations and of gamers... And the prices of NES games like oh, Mega yeah. Man? Oh, God. Exactly. And, and that's another <laughs> thing. Not only is preserving the past very, like, I mean, deadly important. I mean, these games will no longer be a thing. Uh, except... Because, like, ain't quite, it's quite a shame because, like, 
Yeah. So much art just wasted, basically. It's like, exactly. what if there was no more Pokemon Fire Red? Exactly. Oh, no. I would... I could not imagine that. <laughs> exactly. I would hate that. If, you know, certain video games that I played as, as a child never existed anymore because people were dumb. I mean, I and... haven't played Pokemon on Fire Red in my childhood, but I've known it for a long time. Exactly. Yeah. And honestly, you know, preserving the past I'm is a really good thing. I'm about buying a Fire Red copy on eBay because there's a lot of homebrew cards on there, so... Yeah. I... I need to be careful. <laughs> yeah, I had a little a off topic. The most expensive copy, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this is a little off topic, but uh, it's either my 10th or 11th birthday party. Uh, it wasn't really a party because nobody was there except for me and, you know, my family. Um, I had a Pokemon-themed party. I got Fire Red, Leaf Green, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald from uh, for the Game Boy Advance. Ooh. So I got all fucking five of those games. Now, you think that's good, I think right? the Emerald one is rare. Um, basically because of the battery kept dying on that cartridge. Yeah. So, oh, it's like a rare one now. I think but, it was Emerald, not, no. I'm not sure. It was one, one of the Pokemon games for Game Boy. Yeah. So, yeah. But, here's the thing about it. These games were hacked. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, they were... Oh, yeah. They were Fire Red, Leaf Green, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. Yes. But they were modified. Surprised it wasn't creepy black or something. <laughs> I would have actually preferred that, honestly, to what I ended up getting. Right. So, like, I ended up beating the Elite Four. I did everything in Fire Red that I could do, except all 151 Pokemon that I could catch. Um, okay, sure. I saved the game, turned it off, went back the next fucking day. Because it was like 11.30 at night. When I stopped playing, I went back to play it at and like. And save was gone. Yep, the <laughs> game had corrupted to the point it deleted its own save file, and it did that on every what single one. Hell? It did that on every single one. Fire Red, Leaf Green, Ruby Sapphire, and Emerald. All those saves were gone. That's why eBay scares me sometimes. It's like, did I spend three hundred twenty bucks on a reproduction copy of LSD, but it just doesn't say it? <laughs> exactly. Because a lot of times, like reproductions, don't say it's has it's reproduction on there. Yeah. But there's assholes out there that um that would just make like fake ones. But it did come in Japanese paper. But yeah, it was yeah. it was a pain in the ass getting that box. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, there was so you much know, tape on it. It was yeah. Crazy. I know it's a little off topic, but yeah, it's really important that you know, video games get preserved and things like that. And also why you should get a modded PS3 yeah. or other modded game console is, you know, you can play whatever game you want for free. So, my modded PS3. I can play whatever PS3 game I want absolutely free. And, and also, you know... And also, just a disclaimer here, make sure you be careful while modding your system, because you can brick it accidentally. Yep, you can so fuck I heard, your... don't have a disk screen while installing the update file, because it'll write to the disk and basically fuck your system. But I'm not sure, I hadn't tested that out, so I decided not to do it, but yeah. Yeah. Just try to leave the disk out, so... While I'm installing the custom update file, so. But otherwise, mine on PS3 is pretty dang easy, so. Well. Exactly. Okay. It is now. Back then, you would have to uh, open yeah. up your system and get an E3 flasher and then have other programs and stuff like that. Basically, you have to um, put in an SD card and. Basically, you have to extract the dump file from, um, I think it's the E3 chip in there. That's why it's called the E3 flasher. And then basically, you have to like modify the file through like a program. You gotta like drop it in. And then basically, you, um, then you flash that right back to your system. And then that will allow you to downgrade your system 3.55. But you don't need to do that anymore. There's a PS3 hand out there. Which yep. is also amazing. So. Which I, which so I have. That's basically how you do it. Yeah. 
But if you want to do it the old school way, you have to open up your system, so game, you have to get access to your motherboard. So, so be careful, people. <laughs> yeah. But, but nowadays it's yeah. a lot more easier, so I would do it the PS3 Henway. Yep. Or That's just buy a three hundred yep. PS3 like I did. I just bought a three hundred fifty, and then I did the rest. So. Yep. And, uh, yeah, so there's a lot of things you can do on a modded console, for example. You and could... you're kind of wondering why 3.55? It's because that was the last update where you can actually, um, where you were able to install custom firmware. Because so, that's what Sony overlooked on that version. And then, and then they eventually patched it. But systems that are older... So you have to look at the model numbers and see what PS3s are compatible to downgrade yep. to 3.55. Otherwise, you'll only be able to downgrade, like, you know, to a certain number. Um, like, if you have it, a, if it's above 3.55, you cannot jailbreak it. Oh, so, like a Mark II. That's what you need. But, sorry about that, William. You can continue. All that's right. just what I wanted to tell them about. Yeah. Uh, my and the PS3s. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, modding a game console is good, you know, you can get whatever game you want for free, emulation is good, but what else can you do? A lot of other things. You can basically fuck with your system. You can make your PlayStation's colors different, you can, you know, fuck with your XMB, if you're I mean, if you're doing this on PlayStation. Uh, if you're doing this on the Nintendo Wii, you can have custom themes on the DS. And you can change the text on the XMB, so like, messages. Um, you can literally just like, change it from messages to whatever you want. <laughs> exactly. There's a lot you can do. And, you just gotta uh, go into Multiman and replace the file, but yeah. Be careful of what files you customize, though. Because yep. you have access to the root of the system, so yep. don't customize any like files. Any that, really important um, files that are part of the main system. Yeah. Yep. Otherwise, unless you know what you're doing, of course. Yeah. Which I don't, but yeah. <laughs> Man, I don't know shit about what I'm doing, so uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't advise doing that if you're some, like but, me. Yeah. Yeah. But um, you know. That's just up to you. Do whatever the fuck you want. It's your console. But, um, you know, honestly, there's a lot you can do with your console. So much that I'm probably not going to get into it right now. I'll probably talk about it a bit later. In, like, a future video. If I really care enough to do that. Yeah, but, there's, there is just so much to talk about when it comes to my PS3s and other systems. Yeah. And depending on what system you have, that just means you have more modding and more things you can do. Now, I, now I feel like we need to start fighting with these companies like Sony and uh, tell them that modding is not that big of a deal. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean... You know, let, okay, let me just get into the whole rant portion, because I don't want this video to take forever. It probably already has. Uh, but, the thing is, Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo, listen the fuck up. And listen fucking well, alright? Stop giving people means and ways to modify. And, and reasons, more or less, reasons to yeah. modify. When Sony got rid of the PlayStation Store because for the PS3, you... that gave people more of a yeah. reason to modify their console. And to do other things. And also, our, the game console is so locked down where you can't really do anything. <laughs> exactly. Like, give, give people, okay, for future updates on the PS5 or PS4, Give more people more options right off the bat. And because maybe honestly, when they update the system, they don't add too much. It's yeah. usually the same shit like system performance or whatever, which is completely bullshit. They're exactly. basically all their updates are is to prevent modders, basically. Yep. 
in a nutshell. Let's be, we're on, yeah, we're on to you, Sony. <laughs> we all know what you're up to. We all know what you're planning, what you're doing. We all know these updates are bullshit. Very rare, and if you do something, you fuck it up as well. Like, Sometimes they do. Sometimes they do add new fans. We're like, oh, okay, they added that, but it's just changed up the system a tiny bit, not fully. Sometimes even exactly. in ways where people don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I remember a few updates ago. Everybody got. If you mod your system, the another makes me about it. You can make it whatever you want. Make exactly. It yours, whatever. Make this console unique. Make it like no other game console before, and that nobody else has. Make people go, holy crap, I wish I had that. <laughs> exactly, and you can. You know, there's ways. And if you know coding, so like if you understand, you know, the PS3 software and everything, you can make your own applications. Exactly. Or games now, or whatever. Yeah, going back to what I was saying though. Sony. Nintendo. Mostly YouTube, but I'm gonna fucking throw Microsoft in there because why the fuck not? Quit giving people reasons to do this. When Nintendo shut down the Wi Fi for the Wii and DS, what the fuck else were we supposed to do? How else were we supposed to play online with people? Right. We had to modify our consoles. And, if, and now the store on Nintendo Wii is shut down. Which yeah, is it's, been, it, it's been shut down for a while, and that sucks. I really hate that. Yeah. Everyone hates that. Nintendo. And, and also, I do still, like, on that Nintendo Wii, I had the Mario games that they had uh, on that store, too. Exactly. And the only way to get them back is through mod. Exactly. The only <laughs> way to play virtual console games and WiiWare, or DSiWare in the case of the DS, same thing. You have to modify your console. Unless... Damn. You, un unless you already had you know, some games on your Wii before the shutdown. But, um... What the fuck? You know, my recommendation... Um... Just don't delete anything. If you have a game that you had before the shutdown of the software, of, of the Wii Shop channel, or DSi, you know, whatever, do not do anything. That's, that's gonna give you much more, too much work. That you don't really need to be doing, but um, you know, here's the thing: modding your game console is what we have to do. In the words of Samuel Fucking Hayden from Doom, "I do what I do because there is no other option. There is no other choice." You know, these game companies like Nintendo. You're not giving us a fucking option! I get it. Okay, I get it. It's your system. You're the ones that created it. You, you came up with this. Okay, you came up with the Wii. You came up with the DS, the PS3, PS4. I get that. But what I don't get, why are we so limited? Okay, that's another reason. You don't give us proper power. And, you know, I really hate that... You know, we, as the general public and consumers of your products, we have to be the one to be the voices of reason with you guys and gals. I mean, okay. So the only way to have custom skins in Minecraft on the PS3 is to modify... Well, you're an asshole. But, you know, the only way to get custom skins in Minecraft on the PS3 yeah, you don't really have to modify your console, but, um, it, you know, it involves fucking with your console by formatting your system or, you know, yep. doing something else to get custom backups. skins. Exactly. Just have that shit at the very beginning. There's a USB spot on the Xbox 360 and PS3 for a reason. Start utilizing it with more and games! You know, it's funny, like, I think... And guess what, with my backups, I never gotten banned either. I did it on my main account, so... Yeah. It was fun. <laughs> I had my menus and everything. They didn't yeah. seem care. I think, um, my backups, they do have, like, anti-ban on them, so... 
think yeah. it would just work really well. He's kind of hiding it. But yeah, they didn't ban me then. So, what's the deal, Sony? Did you not notice me? Notice me, Marty? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if so, that's good security. But yeah, yeah. like uh, with the Marty, with those backups. Yeah. But yeah, my main complaint to Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo, and you know iOS, quit giving us fucking reasons to modify our consoles, and maybe we won't do it as much. Maybe when the switch when yeah, when, when the switch when, when we're on your system for however long, we get bored and we're like, you know what, time to turn up the heat with this system. Exactly. <laughs> And like I said, in the words of Samuel Hayden, and then we start messing around and doing whatever. Exactly, and we find Sorry, all these, so you, and we find all these, uh, yeah, and we find all these cool things that we were basically locked from until we actually, you know, yeah, like, fixed it. All of the stuff that we've seen when it comes to modding, and we're like, Sony's not allowing this. Let's do it anyway. <laughs> exactly. I have seen some pretty cool shit happen uh, with game consoles because they were modded. I've seen I some... know, like, I'll be reading what the applications do and I'm like, ooh, I need that for my system. <laughs> exactly. I watch YouTube videos and shit like that on, um, you know, what things you can do on a modded system and I'm like, okay. I need that. Give it to me right fucking now. Don't fuck with me, okay? I need this. And so, yeah, I just end up, you know, trying to mod everything I can. And, you know, going back... I need to see if I can find Quake for PS3. I think yeah. there is, so... But also... Sony. This is mostly you. But also, again, Microsoft Nintendo. I understand, you know, licensing, mm -hmm. you know, older games could be an issue because all these game companies don't exist anymore or they still do, but the licensing is different or whatever. And for some reason, you can't have every single PS3 game or PS2 game or PS1 game on PlayStation Now or Nintendo with your services all for the Switch or Microsoft with Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. I get that. That does not exclude and excuse the fact that basically the only games we can really play are ones that, uh, like you know, like The Last of Us and they and uh, Uncharted. Yeah, I like those games, but there's a lot of games that I love that no one ever talks about, no one plays anymore. Bakugan Battle Brawlers comes to mind. That game I spent hours on on the Wii, on the PS3 and other systems where I have played it. And no one ever talks about it anymore. And you can't play it anymore without either modding your game console. I well you can. And it's really cheap. You know, it's, it's cheap at GameStop, whatever. But why would I have to go to GameStop to buy a game when you can just have it available? I mean, since everyone's going on this whole, you know, digital video game media anyway, why not have every single PS3 game, PS2 game, PS1 game available on, like, PlayStation Now? And same thing with Nintendo. Exactly. Every, every N64 like, game. They every... some PS2 games, but they don't have the full library. Exactly. Like, and they didn't even have... I mean, uh, if they had the full library, then yeah. they wouldn't have to do yeah. emulation. Or exactly. Anything. <laughs> and we'll another just buy thing. The games. I mean, we'll be like, oh. Yeah. I mean, the downside is we would have to pay, but still. Uh, amazing. It's, <laughs> yeah. Any, any game you want yeah. right there. Any game you want right there. But another thing what? is, another thing. um, you know, the games that they do have, they don't have all of them that they could have had. Like, I went on to PlayStation Now, I went to see what, what games were on there. They don't have Persona 3 FPS, which they did on the PS3. Okay, so you have Persona 5. You have Persona 5 Strikers. You have Persona... I also think Strikers was on the PS4, I don't know. You had a whole bunch of Persona games. 
But you're telling me that you couldn't have done Persona 3, Persona 2, Eternal Punishment, or Innocent Sin, or the original Persona. You're telling me you couldn't have, like, every Persona game available. You're telling me you couldn't have all the Double May Cry games. You're telling me every single Resident Evil game, Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, I get it. We have the remakes and the remasters. But where is the original on the PS1? Where is it? We need yeah, that shit. I'd love to play that on my PS4. Yeah, we I, need. I would, like, imagine if I could do. Like, what if yeah. you and me could play, like, the classic one in multiplayer, oh, yeah. just like co op? You know what I think? You know what I think they should have done? They should have, when Resident Evil 1 came out, the remake for the PS4, and things like that, they should and, have and I would, had I would definitely options. reenact, they'll be like, let's start searching separately, William. Um, let's look around for clues. <laughs> yeah. But, like, uh... Okay, I'll yeah. check the door on the opposite side. <laughs> yeah. But what I would, okay, what I would do, and this is more or less Capcom that's the issue because it's, it, you know, it's their game, whatever, not really Sony. But what I would do is, um, you know, I would have personally, uh, whenever I made Resident Evil 1, you know, the remake, I would have had the original Resident Evil there as a bonus, and it's a callback. In addition, same with Resident Evil 2. I would have had the original Resident Evil 2 and the original Resident Evil 3 available because we have that technology now. We have the technology to port these games over. And no one does. You know, Sony, doesn't have, Sony don't have these games on their fucking PlayStation now. Xbox, they don't have all the games. I mean, yeah, so, I mean, Xbox, you know, Microsoft has the Master Chief Collection, so you don't need Halo 1, 2, or 3, or 4 on the original Xbox 360. But, it would be nice to play just the original Halo games. A matter of fact, uh, the Game Pass oh, Ultimate. Yeah. Game Pass Ultimate doesn't have shit for the original Xbox. They've only got, like, one or two. And, you know, these games are switching... I think they said every month, like, some games will be taken off of Ultimate. So they're not there permanently as I think they should be. So that's another thing. If you have games on your system, make them permanent. Make them forever a thing on PlayStation Now. Don't fuck with the titles. I don't want to be playing Red Dead right Redemption. Now, I'm literally like exploring the PlayStation Store and there's games like Poker Pretty Girls, Battle Texas. <laughs> oh yeah! A whole lot like, of shovelware. PS4's got shovelware up the ass. I love those games, but not everybody does. So, me too. you know... And if, guess what? Eventually, all of these games are gonna no longer exist. Exactly. All so, of these games. So, my initial complaint is... Tales of Iron? Dojo Ran, PS4, PS5, frickin', it's a frickin' frog. Oh. Murder Diaries? Ooh. Yeah, but my main problem, <laughs> and the whole thing... You know, Sony isn't giving us anything to work with. You know, why I mod? I do what I do because there is no choice. I have no choice. I have yeah. no choice but to modify my game console. And I know some people are like, oh, Pretty no, you don't. Sammy, you pushed us to money. Exactly. And it's like, some people are going to be like, no, you actually did have a choice. You chose to modify your console. Yes. But Sony pushed us to do that choice yeah. by getting rid of certain features and certain games and not doing what fans have been wanting for a while. All I want, and I'm sure a lot and of you... And a little bit of modding, at least? Like, just exactly. a tiny bit? If, which, which they're doing right now, but they still need to do more, though. Exactly. Okay, so... Yeah. You know, what I'm thinking... All I want... And, you know, I'm sure a lot of other gamers want this as well. And people in general that aren't really gamers, but they still play a little bit of video games. 
What I want, and again, a lot of people, we want PlayStation, like a complete catalog yeah. of every single PlayStation game available like, in, I want to be in able the to world. Play fucking Dino Crisis right on my PS4. Exactly. Like, well. What I want, I want every single game to be available for download. Uh, whether it be streaming or purchased or and whatever. Besides, Sony, when it comes to modding, maybe if we haven't seen so much what you can do on a modded system, probably wouldn't have done it. <laughs> exactly. I've seen some things you can do on a on a PS4 that you couldn't do on a PS3, or things that you ha could do on a PS3 but have been upgraded and and overall better. Like, you probably couldn't be playing GameCube or Wii on a PS3 because I guess the processing isn't right. Well, with the PS4, you probably could. You can actually play Steam, from what I've heard. I heard somewhere you can actually run Steam on your PS4. I can so, only imagine how terrified the PlayStation was. We're like, oh, hi, PS3. Time to modify you. They're like, wait, what does that mean? No! <laughs> yeah. They're like, it's going to be fun. <laughs> I'm going to force you to do things you weren't meant to do, only for my enjoyment. Yeah. But yeah. And then the PS3 is like, God damn it. <laughs> like, now I control the system. I can turn it off to using my phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, I can you eject know, the disc using my phone, too. <laughs> yeah, at the end of the day, though, it's like... You know, Sony, I love you. I love your products. I love the game systems that you have. Me, too. Nintendo, I love your products. I love the game systems you have. Microsoft, same thing. But, what I don't love is what you're doing, and you want to say, oh, well, you shouldn't and be modding. what you're doing to the gaming community. Exactly. By getting rid of these storefronts, if it weren't for us, the people that find ways to copy these games over and allow future generations to play them, if it weren't for us, these games are gone never to be seen or heard from ever yep. again. Is that what you really want? And do you Every single game. Off you a bit? Exactly. All these games that I enjoyed playing that I don't have access to anymore, I do now. If this never have if this if uh, preservation wasn't even a thing. And this is why, you know, to anybody that does video game preservation of any kind, I applaud you. You're doing what what should have been done from the very beginning. You know, we... As, exactly. You know, I mean, how else am I going to tell if I ever have any children? Uh, or grandchildren or great-grandchildren? How many... And ain't that you crazy know, how it took us so long to realize that? Ain't that crazy? Yeah. <laughs> in, in just one day. One fucking day, even less than that. Your favorite video game could be gone. Your favorite game. Like, okay. and All let you that play. sink in for a bit, people. Let that sink in for a exactly. moment. Exactly. Your favorite game, gone. Forever. Never to be heard from or seen from again. Except just the memories that you've had and countless other people. Yeah. And, and again, not every system like the ps3 or ps4 is going to be around for all eternity i'd rather play my memory rather than think about it <laughs> yeah and one thing i think needs to be talked about a hell of a lot more is preservation and sony needs to start doing it microsoft needs to start doing it nintendo needs to start doing it they need to start uploading on archive.org or something <laughs> exactly and, I mean, yeah, it's fine to play... I mean, it's called Archive for a reason. It's just Archive, and it, it's not stealing it exactly. And we get yeah. it, you know, yeah, they took the game that they bought, and then people can just download it, I get it, but I'm but pretty you're sure not... most people, they want the real game. Exactly, but like me. eventually, you're not going to have it, though. So exactly. it's a sticky situation between, because you can look at it in both ways. But honestly, it doesn't really matter. It's pres preservation, not really pirating. Exactly. I mean, I would not pirate a brand new game until the game gets old. 
That's yeah. that's a difference. Like, I'm not gonna go and be like, oh, Call of Duty Vanguard, Call of Duty Cold War, okay. No. I mean, I probably would do that, because I'm an idiot. But at the same time, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't actually do that. You know, that. we can buy those games. Those games are available. Yeah. But eventually, you know, they're not. Call of Duty Ghost. Exactly. Call of Duty Black Ops, Black Ops 2, those games are gonna be gone. Black Ops 3, gonna be gone. 4, gone. Uh, Halo, and Doom. Just laying up, people. Only time will tell is when those games will be available still. Exactly. <laughs> and again, like I said, you know, your favorite game that you love to death and you will die behind could be gone tomorrow, or less than that. If someone like Sony or Microsoft gets word of that these games are old... I mean, or... take a look at Nintendo World Championship. I can't believe it's still even around. Exactly. That, that game, I thought I was never going to see again. Like, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> so, my message but... to people like Sony. Allow modding. If you don't allow modding, we'll still mod anyway. You know, we will always find ways. Um, and, you know, because there's nothing but good that could happen from it. Yeah, there's some bad things that could happen from modding, like, oh, yeah. you know, people cheating on Call of Duty, but people do that anyway. You know, people... I mean, cheating is fun. It, it's not all cheating. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, really cool stuff you can do. <laughs> Even custom games and all that, which is exactly. what some ways understand, but we understand, you know, but just ban the people that deserve it. I mean, exactly. if they're not really destroying the lobby, and besides... There, there's a thing called force hosting. So basically, I'm hosting the lobby anyway. If you don't like modding, they can leave. <laughs> exactly. Or I just won't do it. Yeah, there are some people. And I feel like that's what. That's what I feel like modders should be doing more. It's like giving them a choice that they want people to use mods instead of seem making it seem like they're ruining the game for everyone. <laughs> yeah. And we get it, it could be out of control where it's all modders and you can't play the game anymore. We get that, but we're not trying to ruin any fame, people. Exactly. So, we're trying to give people choices. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm an asshole modder, but not really. I give people I'm a only, choice mainly. <laughs> I'm only an asshole when people deserve it. You know, when people deserve to see my asshole side. I'm not an asshole 24 7. And sometimes I just love seeing people's reactions. Exactly. You know? <laughs> there are still some people that so don't know anything. Yeah, there's a, a still a lot of people that don't know anything about, you know, game consoles and, and whatever. I think, and honestly, I feel like they'll just think of it as really cool. As long as I'm not spamming aimbot. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, you know, <clears throat> another thing I enjoy is the overall customization you can do. So if Sony would just allow customization or do some customizing themselves, allow people to have that option to be like, oh, okay, so you can do this with your PS3. You can do this or do that. You can change the- I mean, you can install custom themes that you can download, but yeah. that's about the least thing you can do. Yeah. And one you thing know, I hate- You need to have something more like that. One thing That's I like really hate, though, theme. It's not yeah. the store, so. video game consoles apparently cannot run GIF files, GIF, so you can't have moving pictures, unless you modify. So, you want to run some GIFs on DeviantArt that you found online, or you want to run some GIFs in general that you found on DeviantArt or something like that? Well, modify. That's all I gotta say. And, to anybody and also, you can change your region on there and play other region-type games on that system. Exactly. It's like, it's, like, it's like a VPN. You know, you can play games that aren't available in your country or region. And I love that. It gives people a chance to play games from other regions, learn a little bit about... And hell, there are some games that are changed in different regions, like Doom. Doom, I think I heard, was changed in different regions, and Wolfenstein was dropped down because of the imagery of Nazis and shit like that. 
So it's amazing to play games mm -hmm. in other cultures and other countries to see what was changed from. Sometimes I do have a problem with with um, like trying to run other region games because at times they don't uh, work, but there are workarounds. So it's yeah. Really nice. Anyways, guys and gals, you know, that's that's really it, you know, to kind of, you know, recap, get a modded console. Why? Multiple reasons. Emulation, preserving the past, playing games that you never will be able to otherwise, uh, you know, just enjoying things. Enjoy, enjoying Basically, your... there's way, sure. <laughs> exactly. Oh, and... Do. And what I said in this video is not everything you can do. It's just a huge ass rabbit hole. I'll just I'll just be sitting in there on the computer just looking at homebrew. Just so much of it. <laughs> like it's crazy. Exactly. I'm, like, I'm gonna download this, I'm gonna download that. Do 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 <laughs> And then my PS3 is like, what are you doing to me now? And I'm like, ooh, it's gonna be great. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, oh, guys, also, also you can change your text font on your PS3 so you can install a custom text. Oh yeah. So I've been trying um, to do some stuff. So like you can change how the text looks. I don't I don't think I'm doing it right, but I'm trying to get some Doki Doki Literature Club text on my PS3. I know how to do it, but I haven't really been doing it because I don't really care enough to do it all that much. But I can have like doom text. And then once fucking... you're on that, and once you get yourself a modded PS3, people, mod the fuck out of it and mod menus, have fun. <laughs> yep, exactly. I mean, it's your system. You should be able to do whatever the fuck you want with it. Who cares what Sony thinks? And Who cares what Nintendo thinks? Who cares what Microsoft thinks? And when you're making your account on there, just tell the terms of service to go fuck itself. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, who the fuck reads those anyway? Nobody. I don't know a damn person that reads the terms of service. We just fly past it. And they're like, too damn long. <laughs> yep. Don't do this. Don't do this. Oh, Don't do this. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, fuck you, Sony. I'm doing whatever I want. I no mod, no modifying, or it says no modifying or anything with the system software. And I'm like, hmm. Ha, we'll bullshit. see about that. <laughs> I do what I want anyway. I don't care what Sony says. I mean, and then we're just sitting there with a steamy face and just trying to, and also. We do workarounds so Sony doesn't really notice our systems. So we disable the custom firmware. We um, get rid of the homebrew file history and everything to make it look like an OFW system while I'm running an RTM tool. <laughs> exactly. So they just have no idea. Yep. Yeah. Or as much as it can be. It's not 100%, but yeah. <laughs> yep. And also, I changed my console ID, so console ID is a 32 character, um, uh, basically code that basically allows you to lie to be signing up your system. And once they ban that, you can't, um, you know, go online. But the thing you do, um, well, I do is I just inject my console ID real quick, I sign in. And then I paste 32 zeros, and then I just replace it immediately. So the only console ID that shows up is those 32 zeros. So it's away from my uh, actual console ID. Which is really nice, so. So you can basically hide your console ID and all that, which is nice. Yep. So anyways, Just be guys. sure not to keep your con console ID on there because if you do and you're modding, you can get banned. So yep. Banned. Get up. Yep. So anyways, guys and gals, that's gonna be it for this video. It's a pretty long one, and I didn't cover everything. Well, we didn't cover everything because there's just too much to go through. I mean, just see for yourself what you can do. And if you don't. You know, if you want to see everything that you can do on a modded console, whether it be PS4, PS3, 
uh, just go on YouTube. There's a lot of videos showcasing what oh, you yeah. can, what you can do, and it's really good. I recommend. And that's where I got taught this stuff, and then I taught it to William and. Yep. Now, yeah. Spread I'm word, people. Teaching it to all you guys and gals out there. Uh, and if you don't, if you don't like modding, that's fine. You could live your life boring. And... Oh, and Sony. Oh, and Sony, we're sorry. Not. <laughs> exactly. It's it, it, and you know it's any game company watching this. You know Nintendo, Microsoft, whatever. This is on you. It's your fault, not ours. I mean, yeah, it's kind of our fault for doing this in the first place, but it's your fault ultimately for. I mean, we yeah, we did have a choice, I guess, but did we? No. Exactly. First we can off, look at the same system over and over again. That's why every time I'm like. I don't want to be a piece of gaming like a motherfucker. <laughs> exactly. I mean, yeah, the thing about it is... But I love my consoles always, but... Yeah. Damn. And the thing about <laughs> it really is that... When and it comes... now that we can pretty much turn our consoles into a PC, we can just do it, <laughs> basically. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's still kind of limitations in a way, but there isn't really, as long as they have... There are workarounds and all that. I mean, of course, you can do everything and more on a computer, but if you just have a gaming console, don't want to save it for your computer, just jailbreak it, and you can have a great time. It's yep. amazing. And from what I've seen, some things on the Wii and PS3 are still being updated, so there is hope. Uh, um, and still new yeah. things being added to Sega. And there's some you things know. that don't work on there, like you can't really run Sega Saturn games, and you can probably do it on PC, but yeah. oh well, <laughs> you know. There's so much you can do, though. Exactly. I It's, it's breathtaking. You could turn your PS3 into the ultimate gaming machine. Honestly, the application just needs to get updated. Yeah. So sometimes there's projects that they haven't decided to work on again, so... Yeah. What a shame, though. <laughs> yep. But anyways, Some will eventually. Yeah. Anyways, guys and gals, that's gonna be it for this video. Pretty lengthy video, but eh, I don't care. I mean, I don't think anybody's gonna be watching this anyway. But if you are anyway watching this, it's good. Really good. And if Sony's watching this, I hope you are. Yep. <laughs> I hope Just you take. Just so let you know, we're never gonna stop mining those systems. You exactly. Have more security or something. Exactly. I'm personally going to buy a PS4. I don't care if it's from eBay, Amazon, Walmart, GameStop, wherever the fuck I can find a PS4. And, I will buy one just to usually, modify it. I, I will not buy a second PS4, but you know what? I'm going to get one just for my purposes. Exactly. I need to. <laughs> yeah, this PS4 right now that I'm making this video on and playing Black Ops 4 on, this is going to be my, my main one, you know? My main base, yep. you know, PS4. Not modded, no nothing. Yeah, we are not modding our main PS4. Hell no. <laughs> and then, you know, the other one, I'm I'm planning on getting the one terabyte model. And then, um, you know, finding a way to either downgrade yeah, it Yeah, or... we could delete our account or whatever, but we're not going to do that. <laughs> exactly. I have so many fucking trophies on here. It's ridiculous. From know, PS4. Right? from PS3 and PS4 it, alone. And also, another thing about with mod menus on PlayStation like 3 and all that, or mod menus in general, is that literally um, you can unlock all the trophies in the mod menu. Like, yeah. it's amazing. Yeah. So, I have some platinum trophies that I did not you know, get by playing the game. I just unlocked them. <laughs> Oh, and you can also, um, you can also install all the avatars as well. So you have to put um, these avatars in a particular um, folder under um, like the user that you use on there. So like mine is like named Rebug on there, um, and basically you can have all sorts of avatars for free. So. I got the hacker avatar for free, so. Oh yeah. Which was really nice. Oh, yeah. I downloaded an avatar pack and just extracted it into there using multi-man, and I had all sorts to select. <laughs> I have so many. 
and it was all for free. And thank you for what because of jailbreaking and modding. And I got a modded Xbox 360, which I need to get an internet adapter for, because it doesn't connect to your Wi-Fi, so. Yep. And then once I do, ooh, it's going to be fun. <laughs> yep. I also got the beta version of Black Ops 2 on there. Or oh, something yeah. Like that. Yep. But anyways, guys and gals, that's going to be it. Uh, for this video, if you like this video, give this video a like. If yep. on too, remember to comment down below your thoughts on the whole damn thing, and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon down below to get another part of my future uploads and live streams and whatever the fuck else that I do. Follow me on Twitch, because uh, I do some live streams on there occasionally. Oh, I forgot. There's Nuketown on Black Ops 4. I like Nuketown. But and send this video to Sony if you want. <laughs> yeah. Let them know that we don't fuck around. I know Sony don't fuck around either. But I really don't fuck around, and I don't care. I am going to mod whatever I I'll want. I'll buy as many console IDs as possible. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be fucking piss-ass poor if I have to be. I will find a way. I'll buy another console if I have to. Yeah, like, I literally spent, like, my last, like, 12 bucks or something like that at, at that day just on a console ID. I was like, ooh, yes, this is perfect. <laughs> yep. But anyways... As always, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, people, and bro hoof. Boom.